Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. Do us a favor if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, top in. Now, this video will be specifically dedicated to RAID as a whole. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to start by doing a close-up, showing you the different types of RAIDs, the two different interfaces between the Mini Mono and the PCIe. We're going to show you a nice chart that's going to go over all the different types of RAID levels, the cache, the PCIe levels, uh, just a good general guide of all the compatible types of RAID. Then we're going to show you how to physically install both the PCIe and the Mini Mono, and at the end, we're going to show you how to configure uh, RAID 5. So yes, there's a lot going on, so let's go ahead and hop in. So uh, first things first that I, I did want to point out actually before we do come up to show you these, um, when you do install the mini mono, I think it's going to be a big problem that a lot of people have at home. Um, they're going to install it and they're thinking, uh, why is it not working? They can't get uh, the drives to register. Uh, there's an interposer that's a separate piece uh, that you will need with your mini mono and we do the install. We'll make sure to show you that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, show you a close up of these. All right, have my ESD gear on, safe to handle our parts and do our install. So I laid out uh, one of the uh, PCIe versions and one of the mini monos. All we're gonna need is a Phillips head, and we won't even really need that for the PCIe, we'll only need that for the mini mono. So let's go ahead and hop in and get started. So uh, first things first, we're gonna pop our latch, just like any server you've ever been in before. Now, I'm gonna come over here and remove the air baffle. You could technically put your mini mono in, but just for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove our air baffle here just to get a little bit better view for the camera. Uh, for the mini mono, you'll notice uh, we do already have the, uh, the correct cable over here, and technically we also have the correct cable run over here for the PCIe, but that's one of the things we always uh, warn to check out first. Uh, even when we did our, set, our 740 video, uh, we set it up just to show you uh, what it would look like if the wrong cable was running there, so essentially uh, you need to make sure you have the right cable. Um, for the mini mono, it's a pretty easy install overall. You're just gonna take your PCB right here, and you're gonna tuck it under these two black clips, and then you're just gonna come straight down so that your two holes right here line up with the two screw threads. All right, so we're gonna start by just tucking this under. I'm gonna move my cable out of the way a little bit. It'll just come straight down, line up perfectly, and then we're gonna take our cable here, and we are gonna set it up so that we can screw the two screws down. So we just line everything up there, get our Phillips head, and screw it down. And I personally like to always use um, a regular Phillips head just to make sure I'm getting a firm contact, uh, less chance of stripping the screw, and then you can really feel it when it starts to tighten down to the motherboard as a whole, or it starts tightening down to the, uh, to the RAID card, I should say. So we'll just keep on screwing this in until it needs to go all the way down. And then you'll feel it tighten up and you're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to install our PCIe version. This is pretty simple as a whole. You're really not gonna need uh, any tools. So what you're gonna do here, first things first, is we are going to take our blue plastic piece and we're gonna lift this up and we're gonna remove our current bracket that's in there so that we have space to install our new PCIe card. One of the other things I did wanna note is that we have a high profile bracket so that way we uh, have the right bracket so just make sure if you are ordering a card that you have the right bracket so we'll go ahead and line this up and the first thing i always like to say is there's three points of contact uh, you're going to have your tip right here for the bracket that's going to line up with a, a little hole right here that you hopefully can see on camera and then you're going to have your two points for your leads that you're going to line up with your socket and it's pretty simple overall so we're just going to come in here and just get everything lined up perfectly and once you have it all lined up where everything is nice and flush you just push it in and what we'll do at the end here is we'll just take our blue plastic clip Pop it back in and it's locked into place. So now we need to put our cables on and you hear it click into place there. And so we are fully set up. 
put our air shroud back on, and hey, we've installed our RAID card. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to configure RAID 5. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to configure RAID 5. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have a RAID controller installed into your server. Scott showed you how to do this beforehand, so go ahead and follow his instructions. And then once you've installed a RAID controller, you can actually go ahead and configure RAID 5. So in order to get started, you wanna go ahead and boot up your server. And during post, you wanna go ahead and press F2 so we can go into system setup. Once in system setup, go ahead and scroll down to device settings. Once we're in device settings, you wanna go ahead and click on the option that represents our RAID controller. And inside of this menu, we can go ahead and click on configuration management. And then we can click on create virtual disk. Once we're in here, we can go ahead and select our RAID level. So like we said earlier, we're gonna go ahead and do RAID 5. We're gonna leave unconfigured capacity unchecked, and then we're gonna select select physical disk. We wanna go ahead and change the media type to both, and then apply those changes. And then down here, we wanna select all three of our drives, and then we wanna click apply changes. Now we just wanna go ahead and click OK. And then we can scroll up and then click Create Virtual Disk, then click Confirm, and then Yes. Then we can just go ahead and click OK again. So really what that was saying was that, hey, if you do this operation, if we create this virtual disk, it'll erase all the data that is on, that, on those drives. So if you're okay with erasing the data that's on these drives or those drives have no data at all, then you're all good to create the virtual disk. Now once that's done loading, there's only one step I like to take just so I can make sure that everything was done properly and that creating this virtual disk did indeed work. So we wanna go back to that main menu and then go to virtual disk management. And here we can see where it says virtual disk zero, RAID five. So this is that RAID five array that we just created. So as you can see, it did indeed work, and we have successfully configured RAID 5. So hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you didn't know, we custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We do new, we do use, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.